Have you ever thought, I wish I could control the point used when pasting geometry from the clipboard? When working with a selection set, or selecting multiple elements, a common operation that is performed is to copy, or even cut, the selected elements to the clipboard, with these elements then pasted into a design for use in another location. This could be a different location in the same model, a different model in the same DGN file, or a model in a completely different DGN. As the elements are pasted, the default origin of the paste is the center of the grouping of elements. This often leads to the elements then being manipulated again after being pasted back into the design. How can the origin of the pasted elements be controlled? There is an easy solution to this problem. Simply use a tentative snap to identify the desired origin before copying the elements to the clipboard. When the selection is then pasted, the origin used will be the location provided by the tentative snap. Begin by selecting the elements. Once these elements are selected, tentative snap to the desired origin location, but do not accept the snap point. Copy, or even cut, the desired elements to the clipboard. An easy way to copy the elements is by using Ctrl-C, as is done in many other Windows-based applications. As desired, you then open the destination DGN file and model. This is optional. Here we are going to be working within the same model. Now, paste the elements by using Control V. The elements are actively attached to the cursor based upon the location of the tentative snap. This point has become the origin for the paste operation. Provide the destination of the elements with a data point. And remember, this can be done from one model to another, or from one DGN to another as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.